today we're going to learn to make guitar string bracelets with charms. Here's one without a charm. There's one with a sun charm that I actually am going to teach the young women at church at camp here next week. Um, our theme, we're using the sun, and this is going to go really well with the theme. This one has a flamingo on it. I used pink wire. Today, we are going to use a, hibis a hibiscus. So you're going to need a charm of your choice. You will need a seven millimeter split ring, not a jump ring, but a split ring. And the reason being, um, for charms, this keeps your charm onto your jewelry a little bit more securely. This right here is a little tool, really nice tool to have that actually will split the ring just put that little L shape into the in between the wires and it splits it and then you can just feed your charm on there. I will admit first few times you do this you might get a little frustrated but just be patient you'll get the hang of it. Um, you will need um, wire. I'm going to use pink wire for this. And this is 20 gauge. I have two feet here. You may or may not use the whole two feet, but you need at least you need the two feet. And then of course you need your clean guitar string. I do have a link that I will post uh, to a video that I did on how I clean my guitar strings. Because it's really important that you clean them. <clears throat> you will need Memory wire cutters. You do not, I repeat, not want to use your regular jewelry wire cutters because it will nick them and dull them and then they will not be good to use on your jewelry. So memory wire cutters to use on your guitar strings. Um, one end will be a little squiggly, so just clip that off. And the other end we have here an end bead. I actually like to keep the end bead on my bracelet because it adds a little bit more character. People know that it is a guitar string. Some people like to cut them off and actually thread them onto their string. So basically you do what you want. All right, let's get started. So after you've cleaned your string and you have put the split ring onto your charm, you are going to thread the charm onto the guitar string like so. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to um, tie it as if you were tying a shoe. The very part, first part of tying a shoe. Just loop it around and tie it tight. Okay. You want to tie it so you can get your hand into the bracelet there. Okay. Once you get to this point, you need to make sure you hang on to it for a little bit because it will slip. And you don't want it to slip. So you start just wrapping these ends, okay? Hang on for a little bit longer until you've wrapped a couple of times. Now, I can let go of it now because it's, it's pretty secure in there. And once you get to your charm here, you are going to want to, well, you're going to want to thread it. It actually threaded itself. I'll show you when I get back around there. But you're going to want to thread it onto the wire. So basically, you're wrapping like so. And then you're going to go through the split ring like so. Feed that on and then continue to wrap. All right, so once you get to this point, we are going to need to take our 20 gauge, two foot piece of wire that we have cut, and we're going to tuck these two in. in. Now, what I like to do is go ahead, and I'm gonna thread this through there and get it down to the bottom here. And I will take my piece of wire that I have, it's in half here, 
and I'm going to put it about halfway between these two places that stick out. And then I'm just going to wrap it once tightly on one side, like so. So it's in there pretty securely. And then you're, I'm going to continue to wrap and catch this side in the water. Okay? And it just, you want to be, you want to do it tight. And it will, it will come apart a little bit, but that's okay. Once you get to this end here, you want to grab it in there. I think I'm going to go one more time around before I grab it in there. Sorry, this string is not being very cooperative. Usually it's not this difficult. But I'm going to catch that in there like so. See, it's caught in there. And then I'm going to go around one more time. Okay? And this time, I actually think I'm going to go one more time. I just want to make sure it's secure. Then I'm going to flip this guy around, and I'm going to come over here and try to catch this guy. So just wrap, wrap, Until I get to this guy here, I'm going to catch him in there. Now it's sticking out a little bit. That's okay. We're going to tuck that in. I'm going to wrap it one more time. So I went around, like I caught it, and went around another time, and you could actually go one more time. I'll show you that. Now we're going to go back around and hide this so it doesn't poke you or look bad because that looks kind of funky there. So you're going to go back. Now, when I go back, I actually like to crisscross. That's kind of my own little style, which when I do that, I just overlap like so. And they're not exact. Now I'm up to this little sticky out part. So I'm going to catch that in there, and I'm going to go around several times until it's hidden, until you cannot see it and you cannot feel it. And you'll notice when I'm wrapping, I constantly am feeling to make sure there's no little things that are going to poke. Okay, so once I have that, I'm going to continue to wrap all the way until I run out of wire. All right, now I've ran out of wire, so I'm going to get it over there. And it's sticking out right now. So this is where you take your flat nose pliers. See it's sticking out right here? Yeah, I think you can see it. So it's not focusing too well. Okay, there it is. And I'm going to actually just go kind of pinch it in there. And see it's disappeared, and when I put my finger over it, I do not feel anything scratching me. So I've got that end all taken care of. Now we got to take care of this end. Um, personally, I like the half wrapped and partly not, but if you wanted to go all the way around, you could do that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go back around and co come back up to here. I only need to wrap to here. Continue to wrap. And when you get to this little guy here, wrap and then kind of skip over it. Show you what it looks like if you want to know. All right, so I am actually where uh, I tucked in that other end, and that's where I'm going to stop. I have a little bit extra. I'm going to just grab my wire cutters, clip it off. Make sure you hang on to that because they do tend to fly if you're not careful. And see, I have this little thing sticking up. So I'll just kind of pull it around and find a place to tuck it in. And then I just squash it. And now I, I still feel it, so I want to squash it a little bit more. Now I don't feel it. And you don't really see it either. And there's my bracelet.
very easy to do. It's a very fun conversation piece. I hope you try it. Post a picture of any that you've done. I'd like to see your creations. Remember, everyone will be different because it is handmade. And you put it on. That's what it looks like. I have a flamingo now, a sun, and a hibiscus. They are good for stacking. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, most importantly, y'all have a wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.